Let it be said that over the years, I've ridden many types of two-wheel vehicles. It just so happens that the bike we have now isn't something I've ridden before, at least in this size and displacement. This is the Suzuki Bergman 400. And it's a scooter! The Bergman 400 is the bigger brother to the Bergman 200, and this bike's key feature, mind you, is that it hits the minimum required displacement to use our Philippine highways, which is 400cc. Now let's take a look at some of the exterior features that help make this scooter a versatile and practical machine. There are two compartments located here. They help keep your items dry. Just don't get caught in a tropical depression and you should be good. There's also a 12 volt socket here to help charge any gadgets that you may have on you while riding. There's also a huge underseat compartment that can fit one full face helmet and a half face. Impressive. Oh, and there's a handbrake to keep the bike safe on inclines. The design of the Bergman 400, at least in my eyes, is leaning towards utilitarian. You have this nice wide fairing, plus a tall enough windscreen to help protect you from the elements. Oh, the seat's pretty cushy as well, and there's this nice adjustable backrest for even more comfort. The front gets a nice set of LED headlights, and I like the look they give off when riding around, especially at night, where the light throw happens to be pretty good. Taking care of stopping is a set of dual 260mm discs up front and a single 210mm disc in the rear. Both happen to have ABS. Braking is good and progressive, and bite is especially strong when you use both brakes. Coming from riding traditional motorcycles, this is my first time on a maxi scooter, and I can say I was pleasantly surprised. I can definitely see the appeal of the Bergman 400 as a daily commuter, especially if one needs to make use of the highway. The single cylinder 399cc engine offers a lot of grunt and low end power. Vibrations are almost non existent even on highway riding. It's a solid thumper, and we reckon it'll last a long time. Throttle is nice and smooth, plus the CVT transmission provides instant torque to pull away from stops easily. Top speed is around 140 to 150, and it does so without complaint. The Bergman 400 feels at home even in traffic, with its width just right enough to squeeze through gridlock. Heat management is excellent, and the fan rarely turned on. The front wheel is 15 inches, and the 41mm front fork provides great road feel, not like other scooters that have that wishy-washy front end. It's a composed feeling, and the trick rear suspension is a single link type monoshock with 7 adjustments of preload. The Bergman 400 feels hefty at first because of the wide stance and focus on passenger comfort. Once you get the hang of it, it's an easy twist and go affair. The long wheelbase takes some getting used to, but the weight is perfectly balanced for single or two up riding. Usually, maxi scooters are always dismissed as uncool or lacking character, but that's not the point of the Bergman 400. It was designed to provide an attractive and easy way to commute on two wheels every day, and it just so happens that the engine size is perfect for our market. Now, no road is unreachable with the Bergman 400, and it may very well be the most practical way to ride anywhere in this country on two wheels. With the price of 499,000 pesos, yeah, that may seem a bit steep for some, but what kind of two-wheel vehicle allows you to carry as much stuff and ride in extreme comfort? That's right, nothing in this price range. 